Hey what's up guys? So today is about calibration. First we're going to talk about why you might need to. Then we're going to show you how to calibrate your compass and your IMU. And if this is your first time here, I'm John and this is My Drone Chronicles. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about the compass first. Now, sometimes for no apparent reason, you can be in the same place you always fly, you fire up everything and your app tells you, compass error, calibrate compass. So, you gotta calibrate your compass. Another reason might be, you've discovered this cool off-site location at this abandoned building or abandoned warehouse somewhere, you wanna get some cool footage, you find yourself surrounded with a bunch of metal it's going to throw off your compass, you can get compass errors, you're going to have to get away from that metal and calibrate your compass. Now, for some people, they swear by, I'm going to calibrate my compass before every flight, no matter if I'm home, away, far away, whatever, I'm going to calibrate my compass before every flight. Now, there's nothing wrong with that and it doesn't hurt anything. And for that instance, we're going to show you how to calibrate your compass. Okay, so to calibrate your compass, what you want to do is click on the three dots in the top right corner of your screen. Click on the drone icon, scroll down, click advanced settings, then click sensors, then click compass, then click calibrate compass, click start. Then when this comes up, what you want to do is hold your drone out in front of you and spin your body around. It's the easiest way to do it. Then you'll get this picture, then you turn your drone sideways, spin it around, and it usually only takes one, one rotation, and then you're done. And if there were any errors, it would pop up on the screen and tell you that calibration failed, recalibrate. Okay, so now that we've gone over the compass, let's move on to the IMU. Now, for those of you who don't know, IMU stands for I might upset somebody with this video. No, the IMU stands for Internal Measurement Unit. In short, in a navigation system, what that means is data from the IMU is fed to a processor, which then calculates like attitude, velocity, and position. So, in general, it helps keep your quad stable, steady, nice hover. So, if you've ever taken off and you found your drone is doing this then there's a good chance you need to calibrate your IMU so I'll show you how to do that right now first we'll turn on the aircraft and we'll turn on the controller and we'll connect the app. In order to calibrate the IMU, uh, the drone needs to be folded up. So let's fold this up. And we'll place it down here like this. Now what you want to do, you want to go to the upper right hand corner and click on the three dots. Then you want to click on aircraft and then scroll down to advanced settings, then sensors, and then calibrate IMU. And as you can see, it says place the aircraft on flat ground. Calibrate as shown. Do not move the aircraft unless rotating it for calibration. Keep aircraft powered on. Do not run the motor. Let's click start. As you can see, place it on the ground like that. So it's calibrating this part here. Okay, now we turn it over on its side. Then we'll turn it over on this side.
Then we'll turn it straight up and down. Then we'll turn it on its back. There you go, IMU calibration complete. Restart the aircraft. So what we'll do is we'll turn it over, unfold it, power it off, and power it back on. So there you go guys, now you know how to calibrate your compass and your IMU and you can do it whenever you want, it's not going to hurt anything. Question for you, do you calibrate your compass every time you go out or do you only do it when the app tells you you need to? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Anyway, if you like what you see here and you like the things I'm talking about, let me know by hitting that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching, later. Mm.